Entertainment. Welcome back to another exciting live stream here today. We are live from Twitch. Of course, Twitch at Swanky Gaming. If you guys don't know about us yet, please be sure to follow our Twitch account. Of course, twitch.tv slash swankygaming3. Um, that is twitch.tv slash uh, swankygaming3. Podcast and gaming adventure. Now, here's by the title. Yes, this is a new experience, a new, new gameplay for you guys, a new series. Now, we have a total of about four series. Of course, we have um, Tom Clancy's The Division 2 series. That's ongoing. Uh, you have Spider-Man. That's another ongoing. We have Team Tom Racing. That's another ongoing stream service for us. And now, we're going to dabble into Agents of Mayhem. Of course, this game costs $4 right now, so the offer will expire the 30th of this month so you still have a couple days if you want to if you want a game to play that's not so expensive that's very very inexpensive i really recommend you guys going out and trying this game now i haven't tried this game before i heard of this game before but i have not played it yet and i wanted to play it in front of you guys here um so we're gonna dabble on into it so we're gonna get on into it y'all and i'll be quiet Due to these cutscenes, so that way you guys can listen. So, be quiet real quick. That might come to us. They really got like an anime. anime type of feel to it. Kind of like Just now tuning again, welcome, you know, Swanky Gaming 3, you know. You got that game go that thing going on there and you know this gameplay will be available at our YouTube a little bit later tonight at KLP Entertainment. If you guys haven't subscribed to KLP Entertainment yet, please subscribe. Playing Agents of Mayhem, this is the first time ever I'm playing this game. Nice little intro. Oh, they got a whole bunch of people in this game. Okay. Wow. That is a cool intro. It felt like the Avengers just then. I really, I really like that intro. <laughs> the intro is pretty good. So we've got the Agents of Mayhem Episode One. South Korea. I love my Korean culture. I was in the case Activate today, cloaking. So this game came out in 2017, y'all, and I'm playing it now in 2020 because this game was fairly new, um, and it was of course $60 when it first came out. They're but now you can get this game. Stephanie. You can get this game for four dollars. So of course they have a big expansion pack. You pay six dollars for more, racing. but I just pay four dollars yes, just for this Hollywood photo. fortune and heart tag are all I know Ooh. who I asked for Friday of course Fancy. you know there is one small matter I'd Make like it to quick it's personal and you know what not important we'll talk later Ooh. I like her the woman in the black dress she looks kind of <laughs> this is a dark I'm sorry, I thought this is a video game warhead. character, but she looks kind of sexy. It is capable of dismantling reality itself, never mind the loss of life and property. And it is the brainchild of this man, Dr. Babylon, the oh. head of Legion's Ministry of Pride. I'm sure you've heard me speak of him. We have tracked both to a facility beneath Seoul, South Korea. Your objective is twofold, agents. One steal the warhead to kill dr babylon you three will go in separately hollywood draw all of the base's attention hollywood. to you okay hard tack while they're distracted hollywood. take out the hard facility's tack. security system and fortune you'll steal their warhead precisely no questions good Run. like the superheroes you are yes. so guys i'm excited this game, I mean, position. it came out in 2013, I'm just now playing in 2020. So I hope this game really lives up to I expect, you know. Really wanted to expand the Saint well Row. Well then, see you all on the flip side. The 
Saints Good luck, Row agents. Be safe. era. And I've actually played Saints Row. I didn't play the first and second one, but I played the third one and the fourth one. My favorite is Saints Row 3. Um, I think a lot of people can agree. So we're going to get started to the action. Third person shooter here. I like third person games. You know, I try to do it. You can draw the weapon there and fire and reload as normal. Very standard. Can I shoot this? No, I can't shoot that stuff. Oh, yes, I can. Oh. So, again, just now playing this game here in 2020. Just trying to get the feel of things here. Damn it. Door won't open. Look for a panel or something, man. Yeah, look for a panel here. Did I do this? Uh oh. I gotta figure out how to. Ooh. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot it. Um, so again, like I was saying, you know, welcome on in if you guys are just now tuning in. Now this game here is highly anticipated simply because, you know, this is a game that, uh oh. oh okay. Found a thing, shot oh. it, I'm in. And I'm not a noob in video games, but this is my first time playing this game for sure. So we're going to get on to the action here. Um, but they really live up to the anticipation here for the Saints Row brand. Um, you know, like I mentioned before, I played the third one. Saints Row, Saints Row yeah. 3 is my favorite. Now, this doesn't count. I mean, it is a Saints Row type of person here. Hollywood fires a grenade that explodes for a high amount of damage when it hits a target or after a set time. Well, that wasn't so hard. Oh, this one's going to make the highlight real. But this is kind of within the realm of the Saints Row franchise, but this is not technically a Saints Row type game. But it has some of the same mechanics. Of course, Hollywood lives out his action hero dreams with consistent, uh, constant whew, explosions for and four stacks of four for time. Four for time. We're gonna see what this does. The mayhem. Oh, okay. This is kind of like a big, big blast thing. Okay. But it does have this game. But uh, based on what I can see, this game does have a Saints Row well, kind of feel, party third party. And You're quoting one of your movies, aren't you? Kind of First off, Fortune, and... it was a film, not a movie. But you recognized it, huh? Let's focus on the job. He's portraying like this actor, kind of like one of the characters in Saints Row Three when they say. Hey, I'm a method actor, you know? But they really have the patrol for the third person type shooters there. You can dash. And you can run. Holy shit, I think I found D-Bab's chemistry set. Hold on, I'll shut it down real quick. Um, uh-oh. So what do you again, mean, they uh -oh. add some what of the comedic. Happened? I think yeah, I made the glowing Rose ball angry. Glowing ball? And, you know. As in a giant evil ball of death? That's a dominator, Hollywood. D-Babs, dominator, death, that's a lot of bad sounding D words. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, shit. <laughs> um, but again, highly anticipated for sure. They Hold the on, food. I see a console. Saints Row logo and then they wear purple, so just, you know. Well, shit, that didn't work. Think Hollywood. Yeah. Oh, man. Nope, they go this way. Oh. Okay, so I guess Damn we're gonna... What happened? I poked the bear. I poked the bear! Uh -oh. You did what? Uh -oh. I kinda shot the evil ball. Uh -oh. That thing is a big fucking ball of pure dark matter energy, man. Shoot, don't shoot. Look, I don't have time. So, so. we're gonna run, of course, what to the hell? end of this. Hell troopers! I demand a status report! I really like well, how the camera's shaking. Makes you feel Get like you're going, actually Woody. in the game, Enough. you know? Just get Pretty to the nice. rendezvous point. Huh. We run, right. we run. I'm at the rendezvous. <laughs> 
And now we move over elsewhere. Okay. Let's see, who are we playing next? I We're love playing kicking Heart Legion Tag. ass. <laughs> and I read you the comments, so this is... I am. Ready and waiting, oh, Tech. God, he's a big Just dude, need you to too. check out these turrets. No problem. Big dude, big body, and a small head. That's, that's him, but... Highly anticipated with this character. He's supposed to be the tough guy. But the bronze and the muscle. Are they? Okay. They're, okay. They look like they are friends. So we're not going to shoot those guys. Uh, oh, yeah. You're going to do life, ain't you? All right, so we're destroying the security turret controls. And one thing I do notice about the game too, with the controls, they're, they're easy to handle. So, you know, this is. I'm on way in now. Oh. Thanks, Tech. This game is not too hard to control when it comes to the characters. Now, I've played games before where it's hard to control. Okay, so he has like a shotgun too, so that's actually easy for us because um, throw a harpoon at the tar current target, stunning them, and teleport them in front of you. If this um, that's because interesting. Let's see how that's going allow it to. Heads will roll. We can also do melee that I just find out. Of course, you can just press and hold the uh, the uh, R3 trigger on the control pad and I really missing this. Alright, so I'm just gonna look his ass. Go just go up to him. Of course, uh, mayhem ability, depth charge, heart attack changes the his ammo drum and can fire at limited number of mines. At any time even after the drum is empty, you can use the L1 R1 again to don to donate the mine. So that's interesting. I'm gonna see how that works. Oh, you want me to fuck it up, don't you? Don't yeah. you? Oh, shit. Okay. You best put an end to it. So this guy can do so explosion. I can do. You guys here in D-Babs? He is pissed off. That guy's always pissed off. Anyone know why Persephone is such a hate on for this guy? Other than his being one of the bad guys. <laughs> Let's not forget that our boss used to be one of the bad guys too. One thing I do like about the game too is the voice actors. You know they're. <laughs> A good game, a game can make it really, really good. It just depends on how well the actors portray the characters. And I do see it within this game. They really portray the characters really, really well. In this game. A lot of foreign languages, too. It's pretty cool. I'm with Hollywood. Where you at, Fortune? So now we're here with Hollywood. And I think we're going to do go on over to Fortune now. And she's supposed to be like this badass. Yeah. Nice job on those toys, Sexy ass, Jack. badass. Hey, yeah. So, we got a situation in the Southwest Cargo Bay. Damn it. This is only my first day. Damn. There you are, my pretties. Just need to take out a couple pentejos first. You need a hand? Heck yeah, so now but I got two rank guns. These rank-and-file chumps? I don't think so. Just hold tight. I'll meet up with you in a sec. All right, so I really like her character too because she has two guns, you know. That's pretty cool. Now the special ability is Cannonball. A fortune taps um, taps her guns together uh, to develop to, oof, to deliver a massive energy ball that deals damage over a large area. Already stunned enemies taking additional damage. So let's see how that works. Um. Oh shit, okay, okay. She, she, she got it, you know. Of course, uh, stunning glory. Glory, fortune's drone. 
Um, and that's pretty cool. Her character by far is one of my favorites because now you have two guns, you have a cool special ability, and now you have a drone with you. Deploys a number, n numerous blasts of stun nearby enemies for the duration of the mayhem ability. So that's Not pretty clinky because she has... Oh, glory, but oh, glory, but oh, snap, okay. That's pretty cool. I like that music, too. Music's pretty nice. Okay, okay, But I can pretty much tell you guys right now, and you know, we're by, we're not nice nowhere near done with our stream tonight, to but shit. this game is highly anticipated and is well Whatever worth well worth for us. Honestly, I think this game is worth more, but you know, get them deals while you can, right? Okay, so it looks like we gotta hack into something there. Pretty easy um, the mechanics goods. to handle. Hacking in. Sweet. Phase one done. Now on to phase two. Phase two. That run she gonna come. System <laughs> failure <laughs> detected. We're gonna make our way up here. We're gonna go to this next area. And run a rendezvous with all right, Sorry. fellas, let's go kill us a bad yeah, doctor. Hell yeah! Franchise Force is back in action! Franchise what now? Franchise no. Force. I gave us a nickname. You can't just give yourself a nickname. Not just me. Us. Aww. Oh, and we can swap ages. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can switch out. So I could be Hollywood, I could be Hard Sack, and I can go back to... Fortune, that's pretty swanky. I like that. That's pretty good. I'm gonna switch back to Fortune real quick. Cause I just love her ability. I love Critical her, her systems. style. I love her weapons that she can have. But it, I think what they're trying to achieve too within the game is it's better to switch characters when you might need it. You know, because sometimes you might need to switch to heart attack for like the the, the muscle like, shotgun and, uh, you know? and then it's easy you can switch back to fortune or you might you might want to do Hollywood so that's pretty cool that it's easy access to switch and they allow people to switch within the characters because when I first saw the game I thought each you had to be each character for each uh, each stage, but that's not always the case. Twenty damage. Oh snap! Oh shit! Hollywood's out. He's hurt. So we're gonna switch it on back to beautiful fortune. Hey, these names are very cool too. I wonder what the writers were were thinking about when when forming these, these character names, you know? Oh yeah, you two ready to stomp some semi-robotic ass? I love her. <laughs> She's so swanky. I love her. Mayhem. Dr. I should have known. <laughs> You fools. Fuck Overcharging the Dominator Core. It's something a child would do. Do you have any clue as to how much danger you put yourself in? Of we course. We need muscle. No. Why are you even here? Persephone's sending her dogs in to do her dirty work. And well, you are too late, her Heart friend. Back. Just a few more moments, and you will not stand a chance Boom. against me. The Ministry of Pride, Legion, or the Morning Star. 
Will you please shut the fuck up? Despite <laughs> your pathetic oh, okay. my plan is already in motion. Okay, it. The, the Ministry of back. Pride will be the crown jewel in Legion's mighty crown. You ain't getting away with shit, Babylon. Oh, okay, there he is. We gotta fight this guy. Back to Hollywood. He's back in normal health. Uh oh, switching out. Let's see. Let's see. Our swanky girl here. We collected some cash too. Seventy-five dollars. Woo! Yeah, people are just holding on to this. Now, if you're just not tuning in, welcome, y'all. Twitch.tv slash uh, Swanky Gaming 3. I promise you I'm going to get that name right. Damn. We're playing Agents of Mayhem. Now, this is a game that I saw on Twitch before. You would not believe the amount of dollars I paid for this game. If you just tuned in, this game only cost me $4. That's like a candy bar and a bag of chips, so... Do not fret, though, Agent, for I have a final present for you. Very, very exciting for this game, too. I hope you got a gift receipt. Just you wait. We got a... Uh, PlayStation has some huge, huge deals right now. And then I did see on GameStop that they're going to stop all the in-store due to the whole coronavirus thing. Speaking of which, I do hope everyone is staying safe through this economic time, you know, I know it's a Once again, sad time for sure, so please you take some time no and enjoy it. Play some video games and you know, are only relax. brutes with bullets. Isn't that right? What is it they say? When all you have is a hammer. Every problem looks like a nail. Farewell. Uh oh. And to you, my sweet pet, have fun in your new home. Ooh. Uh, we gotta so get we out need of here. To find a way out. Everything's about to blow. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just walking around, running around, trying to figure out where to go. But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, again, this game cost me four dollars on the PlayStation Store, so well worth. Buck. Oh, okay. Woo. Now we're gonna get on out there. The Mayhem Flare. Collect Mayhem Flare pickups to revive a down agent. Okay, so that was something I needed for for Hollywood because he almost That thing Babylon died. released was a point oh, thing man. dynamo, right? A zero point dynamo. And yeah, Ooh. it was. If it gets out into the city, it is bad news. I didn't expect the Damn. entire place to fall apart. That was too close. Ooh. So we're gonna kick it on out of here. Um, uh, that wall just went away. Oh. Look, look. oh, shit. Back to an animated. Cutscene. No way I'm gonna catch that dynamo moving this slow. Forge it. See what you can do. On it. Oh yeah. Much better. Come uh on. -uh. I ain't dying because of Hollywood's fuck up. Get in here, pretty boy. <laughs> That's like Wait, me. What? That's Why I mean, me? Cause you I know it's, bear. you know, I'm used to it. You know, I cuss too, but it's like, it's a cussing. It's pretty, it's pretty impressive. It doesn't sound like it's forced. Hey there, boss. Why? Oh. And this game is really a treat because I really, and I'm gonna harp on this the whole stream. I really like the uh, the, the animated it. anime cutscenes they have in here, give it a more different taste of the game. So that's pretty cool. So we completed mission one, Operation Spinoff, knock knock. Increase our XP there. 
got all three of the gang on level two. I got a new gadget. Enemies that immediately attack or attack are knocked back. They should really know better. Of course, got a new gadget for Hollywood. Landing a critical um, hit increased automatic reload chances by 15%. Threw at the cost of a smaller mag. Hey, what are you calling a smaller mag? Yes, okay. New gadget for Fortune. Fortune Blast is a bubble that inflicts snow and damage over time. Already stunned enemies remain so while inside the bubble, Fortune gains haste while the effect is, is active. The sweet explosion is why I do it. We made 2000 oh actually hold on, $5,505 in cash. That's pretty impressive. Of course, I wish that was real money, but you know, that wasn't real money, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue the stream in the next 23 minutes. It looks like I had to download more of the more of the game. So we're going to re return this in the next 23 minutes. Stay tuned. But if you haven't uh, subscribed to Swanky Gaming 3, really recommend you guys do that for sure. And I guess that sometimes when you uh, ready a game and you didn't fully download the whole application, it takes a minute. But you know. We're going to continue on with the live stream just to keep you guys flowing, keep you guys going up for sure. I just want to take the time while we wait for the rest of the game to boot up. <laughs> want to thank everyone out there who's listening to us now on twitch.tv slash uh, swanky gaming. And then, of course, on our backlog for YouTube. Later on tonight, we're going to upload the same episode at KLP Entertainment. So if you guys haven't... Uh, you guys haven't subscribed to us yet you know what are you waiting for i really recommend it um trying to come back with the gaming series for sure um it's been a journey trying to get this thing back and uh to really show that you guys like what we do and like what we are got going on for our gaming channel it's really really unique so we're going to be doing a lot of stuff on our twitch account for sure um a lot of series this these next couple of weeks Alongside with some video content related to gaming, of course, our podcast show. We're going to be talking about some gaming this coming weeks. And we're trying to implement a little bit of sports within this channel, too. So hopefully that goes off without a hitch. And uh, doing something gaming like this. Now, we are going to do gaming for Xbox. I know we're kind of focusing right now for PlayStation 4. Honestly, we have headsets hooked up and we are just streaming live from PlayStation. It's just easy. We love it. It's easy. We do it. We get it done. Um, and I just love performing for you guys. I love coming on the live stream and doing our thing here for sure. But we are trying to figure out ways to get some live stream going for Xbox so we don't leave Xbox out the out the blue and out the hanging there. And 
I would love to get my brother on the streaming channel. We actually talked to him today, and you know, you, if you guys remember, we actually had a gaming channel called The Gaming Bros. That was pretty fun. Um, so hopefully we can possibly get him back onto our streams and back on our streams and we can do more gaming bros type videos now not saying that youtube channel will be coming back for sure but you know that was fun times we did that Just a little over 20 minutes. We'll be back up and running, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just now tuning in, thank you for staying tuned. I know this is kind of unfortunate that it's, you know, <laughs> has to boot up. But, you know, it is what it is. I do it for you guys' enjoyment. And I do hope, and I do mean this, I do hope, ladies and gentlemen, if you are out there, hopefully you guys are staying safe, stay safe for this whole predicament of what we call coronavirus, COVID-19. Hopefully you guys are staying, staying, staying very, very safe because, you know, it's, it's, it's important that you guys stay safe. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's out here and. We can't really do nothing but pray, stay safe, and have a backup plan. So I wanted to get some talk about some news here. Sony clarifies PlayStation 5 backwards compatibility. They expect to support overwhelming um, majority of PlayStation 4 games following. Of course, PlayStation 5 is getting ready to come out, and you know a lot of people are excited. Sony recently gave more information details about its upcoming PlayStation 5 console. Of course, they're including background compatibility with PlayStation 4 games, which is also pretty good um, for the ladies and gentlemen out there. It's also pretty good that they're doing stuff like this. They're doing um, backwards compatibility so that way when we upgrade to PlayStation 5, we're not forgetting about our PlayStation 4. Uh, it now has taken a moment to clear up the misunderstanding. While initial statements seem to suggest that only about 100 PlayStation 4 games will be playable on PlayStation 5 at launch, the update explains that this was simply an example of its initial test. Um, of course, we do have a quote here. Uh, a quick update about the backwards compatib compatibility. With all of the amazing games that are in the PlayStation 4's catalog, we are devoted to significant efforts to enable our fans to play their favorites on PlayStation 5. We believe that overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly majority of 4,000 plus PlayStation 4 titles will be playable for PlayStation 5. So, it's really, really amazing. Um, to, see, say, to say the least, you know, they're expecting backwards compatibility titles to run at boost frequency at PlayStation 5 so that way they can benefit from higher and more stable frame rates, meaning the games, uh, of potential higher resolutions. Uh, they're currently evaluating on a title by title basis to spot any issues that need adjustments from the original software developers. Now this is this is a good way because you're putting you're putting a lot of developers who made the games out there for PlayStation 4, you're putting them back to work just in case if they find any bug issues, then it is it is amazing to say the least because, again, you're putting employees back to work. You're putting people back to work about um, the gaming community and making sure that they're straight and making sure the games are out there and they are... Uh, available, of course, in his presentation, Mark Sarney, Carney, I'm probably butchered his last name, provided a snapshot into the top 100 most 100 most played PlayStation 4 titles. This is why I can see why a lot of people might have got confused. A lot of people thought it was just 100. Of course, they're going to highlight their top 100 that sold the most in game in game consoles and games disc, 
and to see the revenue of each game. So of course they're going to list their top 10, their best A players, uh, demonstrating how well the backwards compatibility efforts are going. We have already tested, we as in Sony, have already tested hundreds of titles and are prepared to test thousands more as they move towards to launch. They will provide updates and backwards compatibility along with much more PlayStation 5 news in months ahead. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for more. Excuse me. Um, very, very exciting to say the least. PlayStation 5 is coming out there and it's, it's going to be around the corner. I cannot wait. Uh, more news announcements. Of course, Resident Evil 3 will be coming out. Available April 3rd, 2020. They're implementing the same kind of style as Resident Evil 2, the remake. It is amazing, to say the least, uh, of course, for that. Um, so now 4,000 plus titles will be played on PlayStation 5. We are so excited. I'm, I'm really excited because, you know, it's a, the next generation, you know. Will I get the PlayStation 5 on day one launch? Probably not. But uh, I will make sure, uh, make sure that we cover up some some stuff there. So some people are gonna spend that money. Some people are gonna do it. To say the least. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna step away from the stream for right now. This is uh, the update is taken. A lot longer. My producer is telling me it's taking it's taking <laughs> quite a bit to get this thing updated. So I won't keep you guys on the live stream for long. But uh, please, please be sure to come on back with Swanky Gamer. We're going to finish up kind of our um, kind of our episode here, and uh, we will make sure that you guys are fully aware. Um, as soon as this thing comes back online, we'll do another episode of Agents of Mayhem. So you guys stay swanky. And we'll see you guys in the next stream.